Sitting in front of us, Simon Harmer, the new Essex Eagles 2020 captain. How does that feel, Simon? Um, yeah, it's it's an exciting challenge. Um, I think it's a, a big season for us in, in T20 cricket. We haven't performed as well as we'd like to over the last few years. So um, I think there's going to be um, a lot of expectation um, going forward. But it's a challenge that sort of I've wanted personally. Um, so really looking forward to, to trying to sort of lead the team in the right direction. Indeed, everybody has their own ideas of what they would do. It's all about opinions. You've got to think on your feet, haven't you, with T20. You can go in with some perhaps preconceived ideas, but the game can run away with you if you sort of don't adapt to the situation of the game. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's a game of skill, being able to nail things like Yorkers, bounces, slower balls, and for the batters as well, um, being able to hit boundaries uh, when they need to. So I think the way that you train is exceptionally important um, and I think if you can take care of that um, then performances at the end of the day, cricket's a game of, of sort of performing uh, and it's a performance based sport so you're going to have days where things go your way and, and have days where they don't and I think you need to accept that which you can do if, um, if you're putting the work uh, on and off the field. So. I think that's going to be my biggest focus is just to make sure that, that we're doing the right things off the field and if we're training hard and, and taking care of the little things, um, then ultimately the rest of it should take care of itself. So I think that's a, a big sort of um, challenge for us. You bring a lot of experience into the role as well. I guess sometimes in the dressing room, it's very much the familiar uh, players that are there, but sometimes a different voice um, can actually not necessarily inspire players, that's the wrong way, but get a message across um, rather than that familiar voice. Is that true? Um, well, Tenno's done an unbelievable job. Uh, if you look at where Essex was sort of five years ago to where they are now, a lot of that is down to him. Uh, there's been some good decisions made at the club and I think he's been at the helm of that. Um, so it's, it's daunting in a way because obviously there's so much respect all of us have for Tendo. Um, so I think it's going to be different with me coming in and, and that different voice um, and just trying to get the players on board and, and to buy into to the things that I believe in and the coaching staff believe in. I think that's going to be, be the biggest thing and the change of voice is going to sort of have to focus a, a lot around that. Indeed. You made a number of decisions, crucial decisions I guess in your career. Um, was one of the best ones deciding to opt for Essex just like three years ago? Yeah, I think um, since signing for Essex, there's been a lot of noise about Colpac players and turning their backs on South Africa, etc., etc. But the only reason that I've had the opportunity to shine was because of um, the belief instilled in me by by the powers that be at Essex, uh, Chris Silverwood and Ronnie Irani at the time. I think were instrumental in getting me to the club, and as a result, I was given the opportunity to perform um, in an environment which I think every cricketer has the possibility to, to perform in. It's, it's the type of environment that you want to be involved in and I think that as a result of that I've really enjoyed my cricket. I've fallen in love with cricket again, um, which is perhaps not a place I was in um, four years ago. So I've really enjoyed my time here at Essex and I, I hope that it will be um, a long relationship with the club. Um, but yeah, I think there's been a lot of noise since I've been here, but it's it's only noise because of my performances that I've put in at Essex. So um, I owe the club sort of everything in, in, my, in my performances and, and where I am today.